I'm Lily the Leapfrog, and I'm here today with my good friend Melvin, who you'll see in a minute, and we are interviewing a couple of actors from a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Speaking of stages, Mark, I understand you built this one. Tell me about it. Well, it's pretty big. It's non-linear. It's all that. You look amazing, by the way. Thank you. You look really good. The camera loves you. Does it? You're wasting your time on the stage. You should be doing this interview. Me? Instead of you? Yeah! But I'm not a frog. That's an excellent point. Yes. All right. Well, okay. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. I'm going to be really easy on you. Thank you for that. Uh, so you not only act in the show. That's right. You are a multi-hyphenate. Yes. You built this beautiful set. I designed and built this set. Designed and built and perform in front of. That's correct. I'm surprised you're not also running the lights. Well, I did help with the lights. Of course you did. Yes. So what I need to know from Mark, the, the set designer, can you put on your set designer hat for I, me? I can't, I can't put my hat there. Okay. There it's on now. Ready? Yes. Ready. Which is your favorite piece of this set? The bench. It's not out here right now, but it's the bench. In a vault, being kept safe. Yes. Got it. It's called backstage. Can I have it later? Sure. Okay. Noted on camera, I will be taking the bench home. Got it. He can lift it. It's made of marble. Or at least it looks like marble. Note on camera, I will not be taking that bench. There's there's just no way. Look, my arms. They're, so, they're spindly. You got flabby arms. <gasps> you gotta... I wasn't crying, so don't insinuate that I was. Is that a little tear I see? No. Jeez, did you have to do that? Well, okay. What's your next question? My next question is, tell us a little bit about the character you play in this show. Well, I play a character called Pseudolus. Mm -hmm. Now, he is a slave to a son who falls in love with a girl next door. <gasps> she lives in the house of Lycus, which is a, a slave house, shall we call it. And they sell and they buy beautiful women. I know, it's terrible. But this is Roman times. So it all takes place in Rome years and years ago, okay? And we've gotten better about that slaving thing, right? Yes. So we don't do that to people. No. Only to frogs. What? Yeah, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not just kidding. Yes. Except for biology class. Maybe that might be a place where you want to stay clear of. Yes? Oh, I'm not very good at science. Good. So, good. never a problem. Not a problem. Didn't go. So back to the story. Pseudolus wants to buy his freedom from his master. And his master says if he can get that girl for, for his master, mm -hmm. then he can be free. And now, that's when the story becomes complicated. That's when the story becomes complicated? Because Pseudolus has to manage everybody else around him to make sure that everything is going the way it should. So you've got to get the girl out of the house of Lycus and into his hands. He's got to take care of the mother and the father who come home. He's got the master slave uh, of the house, Asterium. You'll meet him later. Ooh. Yeah, that's Trevor. Exciting. Yes, and have to make him happy, and it's just a comedy of, of errors. Ooh. Things go wrong, people mistaken identities, all sorts of things. That sounds like everything I want in a play! Well, it's a musical, actually, because we sing and dance also. Everything I want in a play, and then music! Yes. I'm honestly sad that this interview is getting in the way of me seeing this show immediately at this very moment. Well, you wait around to 8 o'clock and it opens tonight. 8 o'clock? Yes. Will it be showing at other 8 o'clocks? Uh, next week, Thursday and Friday at 8 o'clock. Uh-huh. And then tomorrow and next Saturday yes. at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock? That's correct. That's two different times. Yes, it is. So that means people who can't make it to the night times... Can come during the day. And people who can't make it in the daytime... Can come at the night. So there's no excuse ever to not see this show. Yeah, because I'm in it. Mark's in it, guys. I'm going to be going. I'm going to be going to the 2 o'clocks, 
The eight o'clock's gonna be showing up at Mark's garage at 7 a.m. demanding a one-off. <laughs> That'd be hard, because my garage is not as big as a set. You're an artist. You'll make it work. <laughs> okay. I can do it for you. Melvin. Come see a funny thing happened on the way to the forum at the Scarborough Village Playhouse. A lot of fun. So much fun! Really funny. Can I get a high five? You can. Can you high five? We'll see. <laughs> Boom. I can! <laughs> you can! That's awesome. Thanks, Melvin. Thank you, Mark. No, no, thank you. Thank me. Yes. Do you want to see my impression of a Muppet? More than anything. More than anything? That's a line in the show. <gasps> You'll see it later. All right, this is my impression of a Muppet. Go.